Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. It is mid morning, super hot, and this is the busiest week of the year at our trailer. There's all sorts of amazing things. Um, and so we're gonna spend a lot of time there this weekend. But of course we'll also be taking care of our horses. So uh, before we even go to the beach, we're gonna let them in. The barn is nice and cool and dark and relaxing. They've been out all night and all morning. So now they're gonna come in. In our relationship, in Sam and I relationship, I'm always the one that's super cautious and he's always the one that's just like, let's wing it, let's just do whatever. And yesterday when we were finishing the hay, we had some that was hard to handle because the, the strings were bad. And he's like, hey, let's do this. So yeah, we did this. He put it underneath the stairs. And then you guys know that Storm goes in and out here. He, he has this area. And so Sam put up a string. And I'm like, Sam, he's going to eat the hay with the string there. What did you think was gonna happen? Nothing. What? Nothing, cause no one told me. And Gabby came down and she saw the string and she's like, you know, Storm's gonna eat that. And I'm like, I know, tell your father that. And then this happened. <gasps> Sam came back up this morning and he's like, well, Storm ate the hay under the stairs. And I'm like, hello, we all knew it was gonna happen. Except for Sophie, cause Sophie didn't know anything. <laughs> segment of the vlog I got this beautiful card with a Yorkie my second favorite uh, dog breed and it says just want you to know that I'm thinking about you it's from my friend B and she says Laura I hope and how happy I am that you're my friend it is from my friend B um, I met her through the vlogs and she sent me a beautiful letter that I haven't read yet Ooh, it's a long one. I love long letters. So I want to read this and thank you so much B for keeping the love of writing letters alive. I wish I was as good as that though and send them back. Um, but thank you. I'm going to read this right now. She says it on July the 9th. Wow, we are late. So in the letter I opened, it looks like there's a whole bunch of pictures of horses. Ooh. So one of them is probably a letter. Oh, I think I found it. So Kaylee's letter is from beautiful Grace and she says that I like to watch your videos. My name is Grace and I think you guys are pretty cool. I love to watch you guys ride your horses. That's why I drew you these pictures. So go ahead, show the pictures, Kaylee. So first we have Willow, it looks like. Oh no. Aw, beautiful. Thank Thanks, Grace. Stella. Ooh, Stella's looking good. Storm. Ooh, looking handsome, Storm. Beautiful. You love them, Gabby? There's one more. Oh, I bet you I wonder who it is. And it's Finn. Finny. Oh, wait, I didn't see it because it didn't get. Okay, hold on, hold on. Aw, so cute, Finn. Thanks, Grace, for your letter. Lily. Lily. So this letter is from Lily. What does Lily have to say? That she loves us. Aww. Aww, amazing. And then we have something in the bubble wrap with tin foil around it. What do you think it is? This? What? Oh, it's pin. It's pin. Pin. Then why is it small? A beach horse. Oh, that's so neat. It's an actual, oh my gosh. Let's see, that is adorable. So I think she made these. Here's some Stella. Oh, let me see. Oh. Lily, you be good, you be creative. Mom, you work with the necklace. Is it? I love fins. 
Here's Willow. Oh my gosh, she made these. Stormy. They are adorable. Yeah. Oh, God, Sophie put it in her hair. It's adorable. Wow, she's so super creative, eh? And she put it on the chain. And Storm is a pin for on your shirt. So cute. Thanks, Lily. So Sophie opened a really long letter. It's literally this many pages. Three pages long. Aw, Bunny. So she named, She says that her name is Vivian and she goes by V and she lives in South Carolina. Uh, she used to, but now she lives in South Alabama. Uh, she's been riding since she was four and that's when she got her first pony. She has no idea how much, she says you have no idea how much him and Storm are alike, her horse and Storm are alike and remind me of each other. Really the only difference is color and age. Um, her horse is 13, but acts like a two year old. <laughs> so this is V, I recognize her. Me riding Penny, and this is her bunny. And this is her horse that's like Storm, I betcha. Yep, this is Cooper, 13 year old Cooper who acts like he's two. And she also sent a picture of her puppies. So adorable. Uh, she also sent us all our own letters. Did you get one, Kaylee? Yep, I did. What does it say? It says, Kaylee, you and Tex are soulmates and God brought you together. It's amazing that people send you letters through us. I love she that. Hurry up. She got this poster thing. She also sent a beautiful poster. You can hang it on your wall. We will hang all these posters up on our walls. Do you want one, Kaylee, to hang up on your wall too? Sure, I want this one. Aw, pony. I never used to love Shetlands before. I always thought they were horrible with all that hair. Now I love them. We also got a letter from this little girl on her pony and her name is Mia. Um, she's going to her first horse show. Her name is Corona. Corona, I think? It's a quarter horse mixed with a paint. Gabby, you and Sophie are so good with Storm. Sophie, you are a great rider with Finn. And, and she's eight years old. Oh my gosh, Mia, you are adorable. Look at her. Aww. Isn't she adorable? Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Mia, for your letter. All right, so we are headed to the beach. We got Kaylee, she's staying for the rest of the day and then she's gonna go home tonight. Um, and she's gonna spend the day at the beach with us. We're gonna do something fun at the beach. But I was just thinking like, when we first bought our horses, and a lot of you guys are just about to buy your first horse, or you're wanting to buy your first horse, and I, we didn't like know what breed we wanted. Like everything I read said, quarter horse and paint horses are really family-friendly horses. I did not want a quarter horse ever because I thought they were just plain horses. And um, and now that we know a little bit more about horses. I'm gonna ask everybody, what kind of horse, if you could pick a horse breed, knowing now what you know, what would you pick? And I'm gonna go first. And I'm gonna say that way back when, I, uh, the only horse breed I ever really associated with before we got into horses was Gypsy Banner because they kind of look like a paint and they're big and wide but not super tall and they have puppy dog personalities. And so uh, I've gone up and down with whether or not I like them still. Uh, our trainer hates the feathers and all that hair would be a nightmare to keep clean so that kind of deterred me a little. But in the end, I think the best horse choice for me would still be a Gypsy Banner. That's my dream horse and one day maybe I will have a Gypsy Banner. For right now though, I am so happy with Stella and I don't need anything else. Okay. You have a horse already. Kaylee. If you knew, knowing what you know now, if you were going to buy a horse to take you as far as you needed to go, what would you get? What breed? Hanoverian Wormblood Cross. So you need to buy Brandon's horse? Yeah. Because it's a good breed. Yeah. What made you choose that? Well, Wormbloods and Hanoverians are really good jumpers, and if I do get another horse, it would be because I would outgrow text for jumping wise and wouldn't be able to go as high as he could go. So I'd need a horse that could jump high, and Hanoverians and Wormbloods are very good for jumping. Excellent. All right, Gabby, what kind of horse would you choose? Wormblood. Wormblood, same reasons as Kaylee, because they're really good at jumping and versatile. Okay, Sophie, what kind of horse would you choose? Anything. You just like any horse? I love every horse. 
Do you love every horse? A lot of the hotter blood horses would be fast and furious and get going. Would you want a horse like that? No. So you I, want? I want an Appaloosa. You do want an Appaloosa? Yeah. Why do you want an Appaloosa? Because they're pretty. Should you choose a horse because it's pretty? No. Because what happens if you're too afraid to ride it? Um. So what kind of horse would you really want? Not Blue <laughs> um, Since you are going to buy a horse soon, uh, what kind of horse do you think that you want for yourself? I always yourself? wanted a Shire horse because they're the biggest ones you can get. <laughs> but I think I will go with a Frisian still. They're my favorite. Frisian. Comment below what, you, what your dream horse breed is and why what you would do with it um i think like in the in your heart you know what horse is good what kind of horse breed that you would like like i stuck with the horse breed that i started out loving and um to be honest though i do love a quarter horse i love a nice quarter horse or a paint all right so we are bathing suit shopping at walmart because yeah that's gorgeous that would fit me kaylee we're shopping at Walmart because Kaylee needs a bathing suit bottom. Would fit me, Gabby. Would fit mom. It's like a diaper on me. <laughs> oh, on me. It is really cute. Would you wear blue? It totally would. So this is what's depressing. A bathing suit next to fall coat. Kaylee I don't lost want this. Kaylee lost her bathing suit bottom. So uh, we I had sure to did. So we So we had to try and find her one and all the adult bathing suits Wait, don't fit, so we came to the kids mom. section. Mom, you can see on the top. Yeah, that's so, so cute. So you can go like this, I'm not looking. Cute, cute. So All right, come on, let's go. All right, so Gabby is shopping with her brand new fancy shoes. Aren't they cute? Look at the bottoms. Oh, they're already dirty. This is so dirty the floors are. White shoes are so stressful though. Guys, can you see us in that? <laughs> Type yes if you can see us. Yeah. Can you see us? Alright you guys, we are at the trailer and we are making we are making special drinks. Girls are drinking. What are you guys drinking? Strawberry daiquiri. Non-alcoholic because we are a lot of because we are a non-alcoholic family. Take it off. Uh, basically, we don't drink that often because when I drink alcohol, it makes me sick. And when I'm sick, I don't have fun. But when I don't have alcohol, I always have fun. Everywhere I go, I always have fun. So I don't really need it. This is depressed Chloe. Who knows who Chloe is? They're like, who the, they're all like, who the heck is Chloe? But isn't she gorgeous? Basically, this is my eldest son, Mark, his dog. Mark is the dad of Brooklyn and Jacob and they're here for the night and they brought their dog and she's like where are my people because these are not her people <laughs> so we're at the beach it is packed it is a long it's a long weekend at the trailer so all these other people come like you don't have to have a trailer here you can come and just sleep for like a night or the weekend or whatever what at the pool you came to the beach with Nana yeah. yeah, we're making a mud puddle because that's what you do. Anyway, the girls are out really, really deep. The beach is super packed. We're just biding their time until the girls get bored and we can go to the pool. Oh, it's hard.
Gabby and Kaylee and Sophie over there with Sam. Are you going back for dessert? There's a huge... You already had... Did you eat food or just dessert? Just dessert. Yeah. Daughter after my own heart. What? Oh, okay. I almost forgot that this is the best age. Brooklyn helps me do everything. She helps me make salad. She helps me do the dishes, right? And where are my girls? At the park looking for boys. Can you believe they're doing that? Would you want to go to the park and find boys? No way. Boys are gross, right? Anyway, that's what we're doing right now. Uh, Brooklyn and I are cleaning up and taking care of stuff. Then, uh, and I weigh over eight. It's the first time I ever ate that much stuff in like a long time and I feel sick about it. I feel sick to my stomach. Anyways, um, did you eat too much? No, she knew when to stop. Oh, it's hard to feel it, so we pretend and then we're off and on. to the dance you guys know about our trailer dance Shayla and I with our white shoes Shayla and Gabby got white shoes glowing in the dark Gabby Sophie and I have uh, flip-flops on I don't have flip-flops I have sandals sandals we lost the kids you guys look at different generations we got the big kids and the little kids Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.